Welcome, everyone is a Motorola Moto G51 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So I'm gonna start off with a fairly simple one, which is the dark mode. Then you can access it by going into the settings. And in here, navigate display where you will find dark theme. Now you can enable it from here by just flipping the switch or you can tap on the text and this will take you to the options for scheduled mode. So this will turn on and off dark theme uh, based on the time that you can provide. So it adds a little bit more versatility than just a normal toggle. Now, going to the next option, it's going to be the display refresh rate. Now, luckily, Motorola does um, enable the automatic one. Uh, once you tap on advanced, you can scroll down and it's somewhere in here. There we go, refresh rate, which is automatic. Uh, as you can see, we have also 60 and 120. Now, for the people that want to prioritize specifically battery life you might want to switch it to 60 for everybody else that want to have high refresh rate keep it on auto it basically gives you both of uh, best of both worlds so 60 as an example uh, right now when i'm not really scrolling up and down and 120 when i'll be navigating through the mini and uh, actually be able to utilize it so it tries to save battery when it when it can when the display doesn't need to run at one uh, 120 uh, but when it when it for instance needs to it will automatically boost up to it and utilize it like i mentioned for battery saving purposes go with 60. anyway moving on to the next option it's going to be the uh, swipe to split now this was located uh, also i believe in the display or i already forgot there we go uh, swipe to split so once you go in here i have this option to basically enable this and it does this, which for some reason didn't just work and also didn't work now. So let's just try that again. Come on. Is this app not supported in split screen? Come on, it is. So why are you being annoying? Well, it's a useless option apparently uh, because it doesn't seem to work or I'm just doing so. Oh, okay, it's not even enabled. Great. So I enabled it and it didn't enable. Fantastic. There we go. So as you can see, it's a little bit wonky with the gesture navigation where it uh, sometimes just accepts the uh, another back. So you don't want to go all the way, but like up to here and then come back. Seems to be working just fine then, once you actually enable it, unlike me. Uh, so anyway, moving on to the next thing, it's going to be the uh, style, which is located under Moto application, which is on your home screen. So from here, we can tap on the three bars and navigate to personalization, and we have style. So in here, you have a bunch of options for just customizing how the notification tray looks like. So you can change the shape of the icons, you can change the uh, icon types, uh, or well, icon packs basically, uh, along with color schemes and so on. Now you have a couple pre-made ones as you can see right over here, but you can tap right here and just create your own. So you choose your font, you choose your uh, color that you want to use, uh, then you choose the shape, uh, home screen uh, grid layout, and just name it, tap on next, and voila, it's now added. So I can tap on apply now and it should automatically change it. And there we go, there are, there's our new style. Now in here, uh, meaning in the Moto application, you have a bunch of other options. So you can tap right here and check out some other ones. So we have gestures, uh, so this adds a bunch of different gestures in here uh, for just weird motions, uh, three finger screenshots, uh, fast touch, power touch so when you press the power button twice I believe uh, quick capture um, twist your wrist uh, twice quickly to open the camera at any time that seems like a nice way to get a carpet tunnel um, <clears throat> you have uh, swipe to split which I did enable but not in here in a different section I flipped to not disturb mode and so on you get the picture here and additionally under display I believe we have uh, there we go, attentive display, which is also a nice option. 
So what this does, once you actually enable it, let's just toggle it on and allow. It will use the front camera to detect if you're looking at the display and as long as you are, it will keep the screen lit up. As long as you're looking at it, it's on. If you just set it to the side and just can like not look at it or the camera can't see your face, it just goes dark. Uh, it triggers the actual like, not the typical uh, screen timeout. So whatever you have it set to, that basically starts triggered or gets triggered. And after the time, obviously the screen turns off. So with this on, what you could do is also change the uh, screen timeout duration to make it a little bit shorter to accommodate for this feature. So the device will quicker uh, dim out and do this. Um, when you're not looking at the, the display, then it does well normally. So just a little bit of a addition to having this on. Now, anyway, this would conclude everything that I want to show you. And if you found this very helpful, then don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.